Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on IDE options. In this lecture we'll go over the different IDE options that we have and we'll see what an IDE is. Let's start by looking at what an IDE is. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and it's a software application that provides tools that we need to write and test different softwares. So there are various kinds of IDEs and this IDE allows us to write what we need to write. They allow us to write our codes, they let us compile our codes, do a debugging on our codes and so on. So that's what an IDE is. For our lecture, for our course, we'll be using an IDE called Jupyter Notebook. We'll come to that later on. But these are the, some of the various IDE options that we have for Python. One is PyCharm, another one is Komodo, there's another IDE known as Sublime Text. And as I mentioned, for this course, we'll be working on Jupyter Notebook mainly. So the reason why we chose Jupyter Notebook is because it's very easy to use. It, actually, this is Jupyter Notebook. So this GUI that you see is Jupyter Notebook. And it's divided into, the notebook is divided into what is known as cells. So this rectangle that you see here, it's one cell. This is another cell, another cell and so on. It's easy to use. We can commit our change to Git. Git is where we can save our work if we need to share it with someone else. And Jupyter Notebook has lots of features. Some of the features are it has some magic functions. It allows you to do inline plots. It lets you time your code and you can do some file editing. So there are so many advantages of using Jupyter Notebook. And for instance, let's write some Python codes. If I want to do a basic operation, let's say four plus five. So this is Jupyter Notebook, let's say four plus five. And then to run a cell, I will have to enter, I will have to hit shift plus tab plus enter, shift plus enter. Shift and enter, that will run a cell. Another way to run a cell is by, by selecting Alt plus Enter on your keyboard. So those are the two ways to run a cell. If I have another cell, let's say 56 minus 123. So Shift and Enter will run a cell or Alt and Enter. So you see how it how easy it is so you have your input here so you have in in is your code so what you provide here and then out that's your result in and out that's your result so for every output for every input you will see the output right after it if i write some other code let's say for i in range for print i. Don't worry about what this what this does. We we'll learn about it. But basically, this is a code that will print the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. So if I run this, I get 0, 1, 2, 3. So you have your input. You see the output right after it. So it's very user-friendly, it's easy to use. 
and it's nice for learning purposes. Okay, the other options that we have for IDE, as I mentioned, there are so many. If you go to Google and type IDE options for Python, there will be a bunch of links. If I open the first one here, let's see. Here we have various IDE names. There is Tony, Komodo, we mentioned Komodo. There is NetBeans, PyCharm, PyDev, Wing IDE, Spider. So all of these are the various IDE options that we have for Python. And there are some descriptions here about the specific IDE. If you are interested about any specific IDE, you can always Google it. For instance, let's say PyCharm. If I say PyCharm IDE, it will take me to, so this is the site for PyCharm IDE. It's another great IDE. It has two versions. There is a community version, which is free. So you can learn more about the various IDEs if you want. But for us, we'll be using Jupyter Notebook. And this is the link for Jupyter Notebook. So jupyter.org. This is their official site, jupyter.org. In the next lecture, we'll see how we can install Jupyter. But this is their website, jupyter.org. And we have the option to use Jupyter online also. So they let you use it online too. So we'll cover all of that in the next lecture. Okay, let me go back to our IDE options. Great. So this is what I have for the lecture on IDE options. Just to summarize, we looked at what an IDE is and we saw some of the IDE options that we have for Python. And we mentioned that we'll be using Jupyter Notebook for our course. In the next lecture, we'll see Python installation. Thank you everyone.